In this video, I'll share with you multiple solutions on how to fix in case your broader laser printer is showing on the display receiving data once you have sent your work to get printed and it's getting stuck with that screen. Nothing is happening and even if you wait many minutes, well, things just stay this way. Even if you press the cancel button, the screen mostly will simply freeze. So let me start with the easiest thing you can do. Go on the back of your broader printer and simply unplug it from the power cord. Wait around two minutes and then plug it back. The printer will power on automatically once you, power, uh, once you plug this back and hopefully after trying again, this error will go away. If you're still having issues, there's two things that we can do. The first one is to update the printer in case you're on an older firmware version. So the easiest way to update this printer is to download the broader mobile connect app on your Android or iPhone. You can do the same thing on a PC computer or Mac computer, but in my opinion, it has a lot more steps. So once you downloaded the app and you have connected the printer to the app, all right, Usually on the main screen of the app, you should click on the top right corner over here, click add machine and you know, the printer will be added as long as the smartphone and the printer are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay. Once you've done this, you're going to see your printer on the top, click on it, go down. You're going to see firmware version, click on it and then just click the update button. It will take a few minutes. So let's come back when this is done. We are back and I got this message. Check if your machine complete the firmware update. So on my printer, I didn't have time to check the screen over here, but I heard the fan going on. Nothing got printed, but at the end, it simply said ready and now it's going deep sleep. So the firmware update has been completed. If you are using this printer only with a PC or Mac computer, you never connected to a smartphone, you can update by simply typing the name of your printer on Google and then update. One of the first options should be the um, official Brother website. Click on it and from there you will be guided to select your operating system if you're on Mac, PC, Linux, whatever. And then you'll be able to um, download the software and send it to the printer. Now let me show you another thing you can do. This is on a PC. I'm pretty sure you have the same options on a Mac. I'm not quite sure. Maybe you can search around. But on a PC, you simply need to go into the Bluetooth and device settings. So click on um, the Windows logo over here. You should go and select printers and scanners. You're going to see your broader printer, but we need to go down in this menu until you get related settings, press on print server properties. This will open, click on advanced. And we need to uncheck show informational notifications for local printers. This is a trick I found out on the broader website. So hopefully this will work. Press apply. Okay. And here we go, go again, try, and hopefully it will work and you won't get that message. Another thing that uh, I have discovered is that if you're trying to print using your iPad, iPhone, or even probably an Android smartphone um, directly to your broader printer, which uh, what I mean by this is by not using the app, the broader app, because you can simply click print on a picture or whatever, okay? I found that that I was having that issue. But after downloading the broader app, okay, the, this one over here, you can find it on the App Store or Google Play Store. Once you add your printer to the app and you go and click document print or photo print, my problem fixed itself. And one thing that I found a bit weird as well, okay, once I have selected the picture I want to print, I'll click the print button here. And you see it says 0%. Uh, and then the percentage is going up and up. Well, you see, the printer didn't print anything. 
and now it's going and once it has reached a hundred percent then the um, picture the document gets printed and from time to time this can take up to two minutes uh, I don't know why but I had to wait the full two, uh, two minutes until it reached a hundred percent over here to be able to get my result now if you're still having issues I can recommend a factory reset of the printer and how do you do this? Well, it's very easy. We need to go on the control panel over here. Once you see ready, we simply need to use the top uh, or lower arrow here to navigate through the general um, menu. So you're gonna go and select printer, then press okay, go down, go down many times until you see reset printer, press okay click the up arrow you'll see default settings and your printer has been reset it now it's time to connect it back to your Wi-Fi network so press the cancel button we'll be back on the main menu now press the Wi-Fi button you'll see find network press OK it will search for all the Wi-Fi networks now it's time to select yours go with the up and down arrow and press OK once you see the Wi-Fi network that you want to connect. Enter the password with the up and down arrow. Once you have entered your password, press OK. Press the up arrow. It will try to connect to your Wi-Fi network. You're gonna see connected. Great. And now it's time to try again and print.